Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Do It Accountancy. Today again we'll solve a question based on partnership final account but this time adjustments will be different and we're only going to focus on the adjustment part. So hope you guys have watched previous session. If not, then do watch it and continue with this session to get the clear understanding of it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then do subscribe to Let's Do It Accountancy. Now let's get started. This is the question and these are the steps to solve a question. So as per first two steps, let's read the question carefully and mark the items which are important and required to be adjusted. So John and Peter are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 2 is to 3 respectively. So mark the profit sharing ratio for profit distribution. Now trial balance as on 31st March is given below and we are required to prepare trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet as on 31st March 2009. Now in this question we are going to improve the second step. So while marking we will not only put the numbers or star marks but also we will note down the effects of it. So we will know that this transaction will go in this account. Doing this will save lot of your time in examination. Please check if examiner allowed you to write on the question paper or not. If they doesn't allow then solve the question as per the guidelines given in the previous session. So what are we going to do is as we can see trial balance and adjustments are given. While reading the question we will mark the items whether it will be posted to trading account or profit and loss account or balance sheet. So before moving ahead just remember this. So let's start with the debit side of trial balance. Machinery will go asset side so we'll write here asset side. Building will go asset side. Purchases, trading account, debit and so on. There are few different items. Provident fund contribution. Now it is a contribution by the employer and it is part of salary expense. So it will be debited to yes, PL account. Carriage inwards. It is carriage expense for the purchases. So it will go to trading account debit side. Now let's moving on to the credit side. Capital. Now there are two options here. One we can prepare separate partners capital account as we have done in previous question or option 2 we can write capital accounts in balance sheet on the liability side and we'll make adjustments in that. In this question we are going to write capital accounts on liability side. Going ahead provident fund and creditors are liability. 10% bank loan taken on 1st April 2008. Now this will go on the liability side but why do you think we have provided the date of taking loan? Any guesses? Let me give you a hint here. There is a hidden adjustment in this item. Guess what? Now since the firm has taken bank loan so it is obvious that firm has to pay the interest on loan right? So here we have to calculate the interest that will be loan amount into interest rate and this interest will be charged for 12 months from 1st April 2008 to 31st March 2009 which will be equal to 1200. Also it is to be noted that there is no interest amount appearing in the trial balance which denotes entire interest on loan is outstanding. Otherwise, for example, interest on loan appearing in the trial balance say 800, then only 400 would have been outstanding. So we'll put star mark here. Also, we write the effect of it. First effect, PNL debit since it is an expense, and second effect on the liability side add to bank loan amount or it can be returned as separate line item as outstanding interest on loan. Now let's write the effect of other transactions. 
So here we are done with trial balance item markings. Let's move further to adjustments. As we all know, each adjustments will have equal debit and credit impact in final accounts. Now, here one thing is that every question will have these basic adjustments. So, we'll try to give less amount of time on such adjustments and focus on major ones. So, starting with the first one, closing stock is valued at cost 15,000 and market value 18,000. So here we'll record 15,000. This will be as per conservatism principle and the effect will be trading credit and asset side. Second, on 31st March 2009, the stock of postage and telegram was 500. As we can see in the trial balance, expense of postage and telegram is 1750. But out of which there remains the stock of 500 that means it is not utilized in the current year and hence it is not an expense for this period. So first we will deduct 500 from postage and telegram on PNL debit side and since this stock is our asset so second effect will be balance sheet asset side. Moving on to third adjustment. Depreciate building at 5% and machinery at 10%. The two effects are less from asset and PL debit. Now, one thing we should note that we have provided the cost of the assets. So, this is the indication of yes, the straight line method of calculating depreciation. So, we'll calculate it on the cost mentioned in the given question. Then, Fourth adjustment, goods worth 10,000 was sold on 27th March 2009 but no entry was made in the books of accounts. So this is the case of complete omission. So we'll have to record this unrecorded sales. The first effect is add to sales since we haven't recorded it and add to data since the amount is receivable. Then next adjustment is goods worth 3000 were purchased on 31st March 2009 and included in closing stock but not recorded in the books. Now this is unrecorded purchases so effect will be add to purchases and add to creditors. Here note that uh, while recording purchases first add unrecorded purchases and then deduct return outwards from it to get the True amount. Hope you all are good so far. Think and write the effect. In a hurry, you might make mistakes. Instead of trading debit, there is a chance of writing trading credit. So it's better write it with the concentration. Now let's move ahead to sixth one. Goods worth five thousand destroyed by fire, and insurance company admitted a claim of four thousand. Now. In this case, the company is facing loss of 1000 since only 4000 is received as insurance claim against the goods lost 5000. So the effect would be goods lost 5000 trading credit since the goods has been lost, insurance claim receivable 4000, this will be our asset and net loss 1000 will go in PL account debit side. Now let's see the next one, accrued sundry income. The effect of it is very easy. This is an outstanding income. So effects would be add to sundry income and since it is receivable, so asset side. Then moving on to the next one, bills payable worth 2000 is dishonored. So to cancel out the effect, we'll first deduct it from bills payable since it is dishonored. And second effect will be add to creditors because by that amount now creditors will increase. And finally, salary to partner 1000 each. This is an expense for the firm, so first effect will be PL debit, and this will be added to partner's capital account since it is 
an income for them. Now we are done with all the markings. This will hardly take 5 to 10 minutes. Now all that remaining is just posting and totaling. Little things to be careful about, prepare proper formats. We'll prepare inner and outer column for all the three that is trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. Give proper headings to each of them for the trading and PL account for the year ended. So and so dated. And for balance sheet as on so and so dated. Since we are doing accounting, presentation plays an important role here. Let's start posting. We'll quickly post all the items, but you guys try to solve on your own. And after that, check with the solution here. So posting trial balance items and leaving the lines for adjustments. Capital accounts are always written in the inner column because net profit or loss effect will be given in that. Also solve the hidden adjustments with the trial balance items. Now the next step is giving the effects to adjustments. Let's do it. Yes, done. So now the only thing left is totaling and balancing. So start totaling in trading account. Credit side is more so we are getting gross profit which will be transferred to PNL credit side. Don't just copy, please do check and develop the practice of balancing by your own self. Otherwise, this will consume more time in the examination. Then balancing PL account, we get net profit. This is to be shared between the partners John and Peter in the ratio. Yes, 2 is to 3. The net profits of each partner will be added to their respective capitals on liabilities side. And the final step is to tally the balance sheet. That is assets and liabilities side total should be equal and that completes your solution. So please go through the question once and check that we have considered all the items and given proper effects of all the adjustments because sometimes there might be some compensating errors or one or more adjustments might be skipped entirely that will still tell your balance sheet but at a wrong figure. So give proper attention to it. Having the required knowledge and concentration while solving the question, it would be very simple and interesting to prepare the final accounts of the form. I hope you all are understood this problem solving session. That's all for today. We will be back with more such questions on partnership final account. So stay tuned to us. Till then, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.